I was just firing as I went into the room. I just started firing. In what direction? In front of me. What was in front of you? My parents. It's August 20th, 1989, and the beautiful city of Beverly Hills is rocked by a brutal crime that would become one of the most shocking murder cases in American history. That night, two young men, Lyle and Eric Menendez, planned a brutal and bloody attack against their parents, Jose and Kitty Menendez. The media covered the case relentlessly, painting the Menendez brothers as entitled young men who murdered their parents in cold blood to inherit their fortune. But as the trial unfolded, a new narrative emerged. Thanksgiving, they will be home. During the trial, the Menendez brothers' defense argued that they had suffered years of physical and sexual abuse at the hands of their father, Jose. Uh, it was just, it was a constant uh, attacking. Were, I just you basically, angry? Yeah. Were you angry with her also? Was I angry? I was, I was very um, angry. I thought that it was unfair. Why was it unfair? Um, because we were doing this and she was enjoying it. The brothers testified that the abuse was severe and that it led them to believe their parents were going to kill them. It was a strategy that shocked the nation. For the jury, however, this was not enough. The Menendez brothers were convicted in 1996 and sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. It seemed that their story had reached its final chapter. But now, nearly 35 years later, new evidence and changing public perceptions have brought the Menendez case back into the spotlight. They're probably not hearing so much from the people who actually worked on the case. Those people take a, a much harsher view of this case than social media does, than those celebrities do. The sentencing hearing for Eric and Lyle Menendez is now set for December 11th, 2024. District Attorney George Gascon has made a groundbreaking recommendation to reduce their sentences to 50 years to life. This could mean that the Menendez brothers might, one day, walk free. One critical piece of new evidence comes in the form of a letter written by Eric Menendez before the murders took place. He was over my shoulder, yelling at me in my ear, and I just said, all right, all right, and he just, it's not something you're supposed to do, and, and uh, he just grabbed me and slammed me into the glass. He speaks of feeling trapped of experiencing something terrible, something he was too afraid to talk about openly. The letter has been seen by some as evidence supporting the brothers' claims of enduring horrific abuse. But this time, a new voice from the past emerged, a former member of the boy band Menudo, who came forward with a shocking allegation claiming that he, too, had been abused by Jose Menendez. His words have revived interest in the case potentially corroborating the brothers' accounts of their father's abusive behavior. Public opinion on the Menendez case has started to shift. In recent years, the conversation around trauma and abuse has evolved. We've become more aware of the long-term effects of childhood abuse, the cycle of trauma, and the ways in which victims can be driven to desperate actions. Could it be that, if the Menendez brothers' allegations are true, their actions were a response to years of sustained abuse? Celebrities and activists have added their voices to the debate, with some calling for justice to be re-examined in light of what we now know about trauma. Reality star Kim Kardashian, known for her advocacy on criminal justice reform, has expressed support for re-evaluating the Menendez case, urging a more nuanced understanding of abuse and its consequences. The Netflix Monster series has also revived public interest in the Menendez brothers' story, Following episodes on infamous cases like Jeffrey Dahmer, Monsters has spotlighted the Menendez case as part of a broader examination of notorious crimes, exploring how trauma and abuse may contribute to complex motives. The series has further intensified the debate around how society interprets justice for individuals shaped by traumatic experiences. The December hearing promises to be a pivotal moment. It's a rare opportunity for the justice system to reconsider a case with so much history one where the lines between victims and perpetrators blur. This resentencing hearing will not relitigate their guilt or innocence, 
but it will decide whether the brothers' punishment still fits their crime in light of new insights. For Lyle and Eric Menendez, this hearing is a chance to finally be heard in a way they believe they weren't before. The brothers have spent over 30 years in prison, and for them, this hearing is not just about the possibility of release. It's a chance for vindication, a chance to tell the world that their actions, as tragic as they were, may have been the final stand of two young men who felt they had nowhere else to turn. The Menendez brothers' story is not just one of crime and punishment. It's a reflection of how society's views on trauma and abuse have evolved. Their case forces us to ask difficult questions. What is justice for those who commit heinous acts under unimaginable circumstances? Can society afford to ignore the impact of abuse? Or should the justice system make room for compassion even in the darkest of cases? On December 11th, the courtroom will be filled with anticipation. Legal teams will present their arguments, and the brothers will sit in silence, waiting. Waiting for a decision that could finally allow them to see the world beyond prison walls. Or reaffirm that their actions, however understandable they may seem, were unforgivable. The Menendez brothers' case has sparked debates about justice, punishment, and the impact of trauma in ways we are still grappling with today. As their fate hangs in the balance, we are reminded that justice is not static. It evolves with society. And in the case of Eric and Lyle Menendez, perhaps it's time to take a closer look at the truth they've carried for decades. So, as the courtroom fills and the hearing begins, one question will linger in everyone's mind. Is it finally time to allow the Menendez brothers a second chance at life? Or has justice already been served? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story and want more, subscribe to the channel for deeper dives into true crime, mysteries, and justice. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're the first to know when we drop a new video.